Hi guys, it's Crystal with Desert Addiction Tumblers and today is your Sunday tip. So I am talking about today uh, a little tip for water slides. So normally when you do a water slide, I always use clear water slides, but when you're putting a water, a clear water slide image onto a glittered colored tumbler, so if it's a darker tumbler, a good one is this one, for example. If I was to put a clear water slide onto this tumbler, my image would just get muddled and it would um, kind of just disappear, wouldn't stand out at all. So a great tip is when you have your image to use a white water slide and you'll print it out just as a cut image, not a print and cut if you have Cricut. Um, and so when you do that, you'll have this type of image. Um, so you're gonna go ahead and put this on to your tumbler, uh, just like you would normally do. And then you will, um, the next step is that you're gonna print out your images, same size, onto your clear water slide. Another tip is when you're doing something like this, if it has a lot of little detail, you wanna make sure that you just uh, flatten your image and then self cut the image. You don't wanna to have to do a real fine cut and I'll show you a really good example. I wasn't really thinking about it at first when I first did it. So I did cut the image so it has all these little fine, you can kind of see them there, little points and things like that. What happens is when you go to slide this onto your image, all these little pieces are gonna fold over and you are just not gonna have a good time putting these on. So learn from my mistake or my learning experiences. Um, you're just going to flatten your image after you print it or when you print it, just flatten it. And then you're just going to self cut um, those out because it's clear. So it won't necessarily show on your tumbler. So you're just going to kind of go around and cut around your image kind of as close as you can. But like I said, you don't, you don't have to go into all those little fine details. And then I have a bowl of lukewarm water here. Um, I always get my water, my tumbler wet. And then I put my water slide in upside down and I just kind of push it in there. And you'll kind of see um, as it gets wet and kind of soaks in it's gonna um the color is just gonna change just a little bit you can just tell that the water has soaked it in okay. and when you know your image is ready to slide off what i do is i just take two fingers and can you guys see that you can kind of see how it slides off. That's when you know that your water slide is ready. And you're just gonna line it up with that outline that you have there. And then I'll just slide it just gently, get it lined up. And once it's lined up, now I'm gonna grab the paper backing and I'm gonna just pull slightly. Um, another tip also is depending on what you're using um, after you, with your printer. So I personally, I switched just recently to a laser printer and I love it. Um, if you have an inkjet printer, after you print your water slide, you're going to need to seal it. As I go and pull this, I'm just going to go through and kind of straighten out any of the wrinkles that I might have. And I use a wet um, paper towel. And I just go through and I just pull this off and I get any air bubbles and wrinkles out. 
Um, I do seal my water slide even when I do a laser printer. I just put a very light coat of, um, I cannot remember the name of it, so I'll let you guys know as soon as I'm done. Let's go through and get any of those wrinkles out. And as you can see, it's a little off and I'll just go through. It always works better if your hands are wet, you'll be able to slide it a lot better. Um, and I'll just go through and just line everything up. Sorry if you guys can hear my boys, but I do work from home. <laughs> and they are quite entertaining, as you could see. Um, so you just go through and you just get all those wrinkles out and everything else and smooth it all out. And when you, when you seal it, you do have a little more play, which is nice, play time. And that's it. So that is my tip Sunday. Uh, let me know if you guys have any tips, tricks that you would like to share or that you would even like to learn. Um, and I would love to share them with you. Have a good Sunday.